Hello, my name is Frank. Welcome to Learning and Technologies Quick Tips for Teams. Have you ever wanted to modify your status so that people know when you're in a meeting, when you're busy and when you're available? In this quick tip, I'll show you how to set your status. Your status in Microsoft Teams is something that is both automatic but can also be influenced manually. So you'll see right now that I have a little green check mark next to my profile picture and that's because my status is currently as available. If I hover on there, you'll notice I can set my status to busy, do not disturb, be right back, peer away, even the peer offline. One of the cool things you can also do is set a duration for your status. So for example, let's say I'm going to be working on something and I don't want to be disturbed for the next two hours. I'll go in and set that status and you'll notice that my icon changes to a do not disturb status. I can even go into my status and set a message there. You can direct this at somebody by using the at symbol. So if I do something like at Clark and I can choose Clark Kent here and I can say at Clark, I'm working on the Spacely Sprocket account. So everybody knows that I'm currently working on the Spracely Sprocket account. Well, Clark does because I sent a message to him. And I'll show this message whenever they try to message me for the next four hours. I'll say done. And now I've got a status message there. I could, of course, get rid of that status message or I could edit it and I could make that available to everyone. So that's an example of using your status. And I'll just go ahead to reset my status to available in Microsoft Teams. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos, and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.